Do you ever ponder over what validation rules are and why they are so crucial in Salesforce? Well, in Salesforce, validation rules are a potent feature that enables you to establish and enforce business logic to ensure data quality and accuracy. These rules are applied to records before they are saved to the database. If the data does not meet the specified criteria, the system prevents the record from being saved and displays an error message. Why is data quality so important in Salesforce, you wonder? Well, data quality is a critical aspect of any Salesforce implementation. High quality data ensures that the information stored in Salesforce is accurate, reliable and up to date. Poor data quality can lead to various issues, including incorrect reporting, misguided decision making and decreased user trust in the system. Hence, it's crucial for organizations to maintain a high standard of data quality to maximize the effectiveness of their Salesforce platform and enhance overall business operations. Now, you may be wondering how to create these validation rules. Well, it's a simple step-by-step -step process. Firstly, you need to log into Salesforce. Open your preferred web browser type and press enter. On the Salesforce login page, enter your Salesforce username and password and click the login button to proceed. After logging in, in the upper right corner, click on the gear icon to access the setup menu. In the setup menu, find and select Object Manager in the Quick Find box. A list of available objects will be displayed. Choose the object for which you want to create a validation rule, like account, contact, or opportunity. Click on the desired object to open its management page in the Object Manager. Once you're on the Objects Management page, look for the Validation Rules section. Click on Validation Rules to view existing rules or create a new one. If you're creating a new rule, click the New Validation Rule button. Enter a name for the rule to easily identify its purpose. Provide a description to document the rule's function. Next, in the Formula section, use the Formula Editor to define the criteria for the validation rule. Utilize logical functions like AND, Oregon, AND, NOT for more complex criteria. In the Error Message section, enter a clear and informative message that users will see when the rule is violated. This error message helps users understand why their data entry is being rejected. Finally, set the active checkbox to enable the validation rule. Click Save to save the rule. Remember, mastering validation rules enhances your ability to maintain data quality in Salesforce. Stay tuned for upcoming videos that dive deeper into specific aspects of Salesforce configuration and customization.